Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master, and in this video, I'm sharing with you how to set up a Digibyte wallet. The first step is to find the correct domain name, so I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. What I do is go to Google and go to coinmarketcap.com. What I'm going to do here is scroll down the list of cryptocurrencies until I find Digibyte. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I see it right here. So I'll go ahead and click that. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit until I see the website here and click that. So this is the official website for Digibyte and the website is digibyte.io. Digibyte is spelled D-I-G-I-B-Y-T-E dot I-O. And when you're searching this website, make sure it's connected to an HTTPS website and verify it's secure by looking at this green padlock right here. That's very important. And it does say it's secure, so we're good there. Another way to find the website is by going to their social profile. And the way you do that is back on CoinMarketCap under Digibyte. And you scroll down till you see social here. And you click that. And you scroll down again. And it points to the tweets by the official Digibyte Twitter profile, which is this. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. It directs me to their Twitter. And as you can see, they have 149,000 followers. And if you look at their description and the link that they promote to, they're actually redirecting us back to digibyte.io, which is the same website we initially went on. So that's great. This is the website. We're good there. I'm going to exit out of this. Uh, along with the Twitter page and even the coin market cap website and move on to step number two which is to choose the correct wallet so I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like on this website digibyte.io on the top here it says wallets in white it's next to community and guides you're gonna go ahead and click wallets here and it's saying to choose your wallet here so before we choose wallets, I do want to let you know that the official Digibyte wallet is the main wallet for the Digibyte project and the official Digibyte wallet is developed and maintained by the main Digibyte development team. In this video, I am using a MacBook, so I will be choosing the Mac OS X wallet. However, if you have a Windows or a Linux computer, go ahead and choose the appropriate wallet for you. And feel free to follow along with me still. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download here, which is step number three, download the wallet. And I am gonna click this button, which says download here. Take a look at the bottom left side of my screen. It's saying that it's downloading the Digibyte wallet now and it's gonna take about 15 seconds to download. You could pause the video here if you'd like and continue the video once it's done downloading for you. Okay, great. That was a fast download. We're gonna move on to step number four, which is to install the wallet. And the way you do that is by clicking this Digibyte download right here. I'm gonna click that on the bottom left side and it starts opening. And now it's asking me to drag my Digibyte core wallet onto my applications folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the next step is to open it now. So I'm going to go ahead and double click this Digibyte core wallet right here. What it's saying is Digibyte core can't be open because it is from an unidentified developer. I'm going to click OK. The way around that is to go to your finder, go to your applications, and then find Digibyte Core. And for me, it's right here. So what I'm going to do to open it is right click it and then click open. 
it's giving us the same message as before. Are you sure you want to open it? However, this time it's giving us the option to open it. So I'm going to go ahead and click open. I'm going to exit out of this. I am going to minimize this and my presentation. So this is the welcome to Digibyte Core. It's saying that it's going to download and store a copy of the Digibyte blockchain and that it takes 13 gigabytes. It's giving us two options to use the default data directory or uh, a custom data directory. However, for this tutorial, I am just going to use the default data directory and click OK here. And it's starting to load up right here. And here it is. This is the Digibyte Core wallet. And what it's saying on the screen here is that it's going to take some time to sync up with the network. And this depends and varies based off your computer and the speed of your computer. However, you do want to wait for this to sync before using it. In this video, I'm going to continue forward and click hide here so I can show you what the wallet looks like. And congratulations, this is what the Digibyte Core wallet looks like. This is the user interface. It looks very clean. I like how it looks. And as you can see the tabs on the top here, there's a send, receive, and transactions button. So if you click send here, you could type in an address to send to. You could put a label on it and choose the amount of Digibyte you want to send. And to receive it, you could put a label, you could put the amount you want to receive and choose a message and click request payment here. And there's also a transactions history tab to let you know your history of the transactions you've had for Digibyte. In this video, I am not going into detail how to send, receive, backup, protect, or even update the wallet. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to download and install it, which you've already done. So great. I do want to show you one more step, which is step number five, and that's to verify that you can open and close the wallet. I am going to show you how that looks like right now. What I'm going to do for you is drag my recording screen to the top left so that you could see that it says Digibyte Core right here. I'm going to click that. I'm going to scroll to the bottom where it says quit Digibyte Core and that's command Q for me. So I'm going to click quit. It's starting to shut down here. And the way to reopen it is to go to your finder, go to your applications and then find Digibyte Core inside that folder. And then you're going to want to right click it and then click open. I will exit out of this and here it is one more time. As you can see, it's saying that it's going to take some time to sync. So go ahead and wait for that. I will click hide for now and voila, here's the Digibyte Core wallet. So that actually concludes my video. If you like these types of blockchain tutorials, go get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You could learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint and you could get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018 and Denny is spelled D-E-N-N-I. You could also follow me on Twitter. My handle is Denny Lovejoy and thank you so much for watching my blockchain tutorial on how to set up a Digibyte Core wallet. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave me a message on my Twitter. Thanks again and have a terrific day.